Welcome back to my channel. It is great to have you all to have you all with me. I've only just started and I'm getting it wrong. So uh, today's video is an Avon haul um, requested by you, my subscribers. So um, as you know, I made it to a thousand subscribers. Woohoo! Um, and I used my community page to do a little poll. So the poll was whether you wanted to see an Avon haul, my lemonade box, or my rocker box. Um, unboxing and you guys chose Avon. So I did a little Avon, a little-ish Avon haul. I just ripped the top of the box. Um, I haven't had Avon in ages, um, which is daft because I love Avon. I really like the, the makeup. It's really good quality as well. Um, so I haven't had it for a while. I think I've moved and then didn't get the book in the new house, this house. Um, and my friends just started it online, so um, I was like, oh, give me the link. So um, I grabbed a link, went on, had a scour through the, um, like, the, her online shop. It's really, really well set up, actually. And, yeah, got a few bits. So this is my haul. Um, all in all, what did it cost me? 30 So about £53. Pounds, um worth in here right so um, and it's really random as well really random bits but i was like oh i really want this i want that so let's see what's in the box uh, the first things i got were oh is that three um a threesome like a little kit so this is the advanced techniques shampoo so it's for fuller looking hair um hyaluronic peptide complex it's a miracle densifier so it's 250 ml i got the shampoo and the conditioner because i just don't see the point in trying one without the other and then i got their bodifying leave-in treatment as well so fuller looking hair um, again it's full of hyaluronic acid um, and it, this one's 100 ml the um, shampoo and conditioners are 250 ml I just, I always have, I've got really, really thin hair, so anything that can kind of give me a bit of body is always good. Um, and hyaluronic acid is great as well. So they were my little three. I'm not sure how much they were. Um, so the hair care set was seven pounds for the three, which I thought was really, really good. Right, the next thing I bought, was a barrel brush. So I have been trying to get full of hair and everybody, I, want, I just want some with a bit of body. So I thought maybe a barrel brush would just help me. Um, it's a really good size. I can't get in. Oh yeah, it's a really, really nice size. And I thought that the hair dry in, then at least I can try in get a bit of volume to it um, and I've not got a barrel brush so this was worth six pounds or cost me six pounds and again it's from the same same range as the hair care um, the next thing there so it is their footworks and it's an intense moisturiser cream, uh, 10 moisturising factors for 24 hours uh, moisturiser, it's 75ml. So it's a rich cream locking in moisturiser to rehydrate severely dry skin. Um, apply twice a day for, for the first seven days and then once a day after. My feet are absolutely wrecked. I'm always running around definitely in like restaurants so you're always on your feet it gets really really busy and i just i don't think about my feet at all i've got loads of these um like foot masks that you put your feet in like little booties and the um serums and creams and they're amazing but i just never remember to use them so my feet are in definitely need of looking after so this was three pounds which i thought was really good value and um Best to try. I'm going to run out of space to put everything. Uh, the next thing in the box. I don't remember getting this. 
was the Clear Skin by Avon Blemish Clearing O2 Fresh Bubble Cleanser with wheat extracts and vitamin E. So it's a daily cleanser for blemish with blemish clearing technology. And it's 150ml, so it's huge. And it's got like a little weird top, so I'm guessing it comes out like foam, I would say. Oh, it smells lovely. Um, I don't really overly suffer with a lot of spots, but when I do, they're kind of all here. So I kind of, um, I use it, I use like a blemishing one whenever I start getting to, you know you can feel one coming. Um, and I don't you just get one, I end up with like two in the same space. It's like, oh, one moves in and then it's like, hey, let's have a party, let's call some friends, come and bring your sleeping cases and sleeping bags, let's camp together. So wherever there's one, there's usually two. So um, I thought I would try it out. Um, and it is, oh, it's a bubble cleanser, sorry. And it's worth £3.50, which I thought was good for cleanser. I'm always trying out cleansers. I am a, we've talked about before, a double cleanser. I'm a double scrubber. I cleanse and clean my face twice. I use a, most of the time I use an exfoliator, which you shouldn't use one every day because um, it's bad for your skin. Um, and then I use a cleanser. However, if I don't exfoliate, I do. I use two cleansers because I'm strange. <laughs> right. The next one oh, I got for my little boy. So it's the Avon Naturals Kids. It's Wacky Watermelon and it's Bath Time Paint. Oh, it's going to love it. I don't know if I can get it open. I bet it's childproofed. Oh, whoa. Check that out. Oh, it smells just like watermelon. It's amazing. So he's going to love this. It's 100 ml and it was a pound. And I thought he's going to have great fun drawing on the side of the bath and the towel towels. Tiles, because we don't want that on the towels. Although I bet you it probably washes out. Right. The next one I got is this. And it is their Clear Skin Avon um, Blemish Clearing Patches. It's with salicylic acid and botanical extracts. There's 12 patches and it works in eight hours. Now, I did a video. I got the patchology and it was like the blemish kit and it had these little stickers in and they worked absolutely amazing so you've got two stickers you've got one that if you're kind of looking a bit red and you go do you know when you get a spot that doesn't actually come to a head it's just like hi i'm angry and i'm gonna look like a mountain um, and you stick your sticker on it go to sleep and when i wake up the next day it the, the redness has just reduced drastically i did a video on it in a product review so if you haven't seen it find it because it worked really really well and then you've got the other ones that you kind of get in a spot and it has kind of got a head and then you put the sticker on and it draws the stuff off so when you peel it off you've got like the little spot goo it's gross um, but you and then it's either taking it all out or it's just a quick a quick and it's done so i wanted to see um i was shopping and had it in my basket in patchology and then i came across these and i thought i'm going to give these a go first before i and um, compare before i then go buy the patchology ones and um, so these were worth uh five pounds but it's for 12 so yeah oh don't fall um what is in the box oh so it's mark um 18 hour um eyeshadow now I, can't, I didn't i forgot i got this actually so it's a cream eyeshadow and i'm not sure what i bought it um Oh, Savage, Bro a Savage Bronze. So it's a cream eyeshadow. I expected it to be more kind of mousse than what it is. It's actually quite firm. It's like a proper cream. Oh, that's nice. So it is like a really nice sort of shimmery kind of colour to it. I don't know, I expected it to be kind of moussey. So I'm going to have to have a look. I've got eyeshadow on today, so I don't want to trash it. Um, but it's blended out really, really well as well. Really, really well as well. 
how many as worlds really really well does one person need to say um so this is the five grams so i'm gonna be interested to see if it is any good and that was worth three pound fifty so for an eyeshadow i'm not mad it smells weird right so i got uh avon gel shine um in nail enamel which I really need to um, sort my nails out. I'm a biter, and if I get stressed, I just bite them all off. They were looking lovely until I went back to work. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. So this is in the shade Rosy for you. I really, really like that. It's like a nice sort of burgundy kind of red, deep red shade. I like that. That'd be a lot nicer as a lippy as well. Um, that was, how much was that? £3.50, which isn't bad at all for an nail varnish. Um, clearly, that's what I was thinking about because I've got two, three more, well, two more, but three in total. So I bought a Nail Curing Ultra Shine Gel Top Coat. So I've got a Cura. Um, so I was running out of this. This was £3.50 again, which is really good for a gel top coat. And then I got their Nail Studio um, Mystical Fantasies nail, nail Enamel, and it is Ride a Pegasus. And I remember this one was only £2.50. Look at that! It's like proper shine. It's like a pearlescent sort of blue. I don't know where I'm going to wear it, but I needed it. So, yeah, love it. And like I said, that one was £2.50, which is a bargain. But that's because it's not a gel nail. It's just a normal that sort of nail enamel. Uh, what did I get? I think um, my haul is all feet, feet, foot and nail related. So I bought myself a like file. It's basically sandpaper on a stick. <laughs> so we shall see. I need to do some serious foot care. Um, and that was worth three pounds. I can't get it back into the bubble wrap. Who loves bubble wrap? Is it just me? Oh my God. That's disappointing. My bubble wrap's been popped. What twisted person popped somebody else's bubble wrap? The shock. <laughs> There's not even one bubble. Oh, hang on. One tiny one. <gasps> now, is that a factory default? Or did somebody actually sit there and pop? every single bubble before they put it in i know i shouldn't be horrified but is there anybody else out there like me who absolutely loves bubble wrap i can't tell you how much i love bubble wrap well clearly you can see it because i'm devastated it's gone but yeah anyway um what else did i get so i've been thinking about this now, did anybody see my video, um, the no no moustache video? I did a um, top lip wax strip. Oh, my God. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it because it's just 10 minutes of a pain. I mean, I'm one of these people, You I don't know, maybe there's a lot of us out there that, you know, you see someone fall over and you laugh. I mean, don't get me wrong. If they fell over and there was blood everywhere then I would make sure, obviously, that they were okay before I laughed. But either way, I'm gonna laugh. I'm, I'm, the, I'm a horrid person. <laughs> so I did this mo, no moustache video and I was dead confident. I've never done any wax in front. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think then every swear word that I know just, my God, I've never felt pain like it. I was literally crying watching it back when I edited it. It was so painful. So me and wax strips are out of the question for the face. And then I saw this. 
which is like a facial curler, a curler hair remover. So it's a facial hair remover and I think you're just supposed to twist. So I got it to do a little video and obviously to see if it works and see if it is less painful than the wax strips. Um, however, I'm a wimp. So um, God knows how this is going to go. So I shall save it for a video and you can see hopefully it's going to be less pain than those wax strips because they were horrific. Right, um, that was £2.50. So the next thing I got was foot related again but I'd never seen it in my whole life I don't know where I've been so it's this it looks like a potato peeler um I don't know what it's called is it hard skin remover it was the other one my guess was like a foot file curve pattern oh the other one was like a foot so that was two pounds because that's like a curved foot file the other one is a hard skin remover it's like a potato peeler i mean i'm gonna end up i've got instructions i mean it comes oh it comes with a guard and everything i don't know is that a razor blade oh, i don't think i should have done that This is why you're supposed to read things before you do it. So I'm not sure. I'm wondering if it's like a razor and it just takes your skin off. At which point, maybe it should come with like a big sign. Do not touch. So I'm going to have to read the instructions. Although the instructions aren't very clear either. There's just a photo that says push down. down to what I don't know I'll have to read that one watch me um come back next time limping I've taken half a foot off see bubble wrap ah, so happy so happy I'm telling you somebody sat there and popped on my bubble wrap it's just absolutely mean who doesn't love bubble wrap Yeah. See, I like that sort of sound. I've got a friend that doesn't like crunching, which is just weird because somebody's you've got to eat. So I always sit there and my Chris like when I'm there anyway. Just to piss him off. <laughs> so that's what sort of friend I am. <laughs> the tormentor tormenting friend. Anyway. This was the hard skin remover and this was three pound. It's definitely a foot hair theme. So I've got two items in the box and I only remember buying one of them. I don't, I don't think I bought this. Avon Care Moisturising Hand Gel. Like a hand sanitizer. I mean, yeah, in this day and age, a hand sanitizer is definitely needed. But I don't, oh, I've got it as a free gift. So I must spend X amount and get a hand sanitizer. Cool. So the last thing that I bought was a BB cream. It's their five in one, evens cover. It's a matte finish, moisturized. It's got F SPF 15 in it and it's for combination to oily skin. Now I still haven't found the perfect um, foundation and I don't really can't really wear a lot at the moment because of obviously COVID and wearing masks um, and sometimes I don't really want a heavy foundation for work so I thought a BB cream might help and I used my last one so it's all gone um, so I thought I would try it out now I don't know if it comes in a colour or whether it is just what it is let's see if I can find it it's not on that one um so it's in light it's 30 mil and it's five pounds whoa say for light light's a bit orange oh it's not too bad it just looks in there well it's definitely a bit warm it's better now it's kind of oxygen and it's in my skin
get to my mirror. Oh, it's not bad actually, um, colour wise. I thought it had too much kind of browns in it. Now my lighting's really, really bad today. It's a really kind of sunny day and I'm getting a lot of kick from outside. And if I shut the window, it's too dark inside, even with my lighting, my setup. I was going to say you can't see very well, but all this side kind of definitely looks more even, more of the same colour and a bit more airbrushed. I like that. It's very, very lightweight. It's not got a massive of like orange coloured. I mean, I know it's really poor. There's the colour on my hand. Um, but yeah, it's blended in quite well. And it's not leaving like that oily feel you get sometimes with foundations and BB creams. So I'm going to give this a go. I'm really excited about that. And that was my haul. What do you think? Like I say, it's a lot of hair care, a lot of nail varnish and nail products, a little bit of makeup with the um, bronze eyeshadow or cream eyeshadow. And then obviously a lot of foot creams and tools and bits and bobs and some paint for the kids. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. There is a thousand subscriber giveaway. So don't forget to check out the drop down description box and um, yeah, enter it. Uh, I'll also put my friend's link to Avon. I don't know if anyone's like me that used to get a book but didn't. I didn't even know Avon was online. So um, yeah. If you want to go and you've not got access to Avon, I will leave her link in the drop down descriptions and you can have a look, little look and check her shop out. Um, yeah, see you soon. Take care. Bye.